Well, welcome to bait table big screen time. Uh, so, really cool thing about Raymarine is really only need to add two wires to get this thing going. Got to get the data coming in from a switch, and we got to get a power cord back there, and the RAM mount and everything else. So we're scouting the location. Going to uh, probably come up right about here to get the uh, get that uh, coming up this direction. And then we're going to go forward where we already have this other Raymarine display and probably get down here in this box and add the switch and get some power. So stick around. By the end of this, uh, end of this video, we'll probably have a pretty cool installation. Hey, Tom Nelson here from the Outdoor Line, my good friend. Mike Cernick, Ray Marine. Hi guys. You know, uh, expanding the Ray Marine system is so easy, oh, so yeah. seamless. I mean, yep. you know, we, we just installed the fourth display on this. Sure did. Two wires, Mike. Yeah, yeah we just added a 12 inch Axiom Pro to Tom's 30 foot duckworth here. And I can't tell you how, how fishy this boat is now. There's something to be said about having the fish finder in the sweet spot of the boat and, and that's just exactly what we did. So let's let's take a take a look at the installation. Let's it's super look. simple. So here it is. So what what unit is this Mike and this, tell, tell us about the features. Yeah this is a 12 inch Axiom Pro. This is our hybrid touch touchscreen unit. It's got rotary knobs and buttons on there for for uh, using the, the thing when it's uh, wet and salty out. And we've got a one kilowatt uh, Airmar chirp transducer. It's a SS175 high wide chirp. Um, you can just see how clean and, and crystal clear the bottom is. We've got our cone A-scope on here, so we're in a, about 109, 110 feet of water, and our, 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 our surface area on the bottom we're looking at is actually about 60 feet, right? And um, in very clear image, uh, we're not getting any uh, discoloration, any interference. Um, really, really clean bottom we're looking at here. And, and for the guys fishing on the back deck, this is just gonna be, this is gonna be awesome. So, and then check it out. What we did was we took the bait table we added a heavy duty ram mount arm and a ball right here that comes straight out. And then uh, got one of these, uh, got one of these glands right here that uh, is just basically two wires, okay? So one's a power wire and the other yep. is, is a Reina data connection. Reina mm -hmm. data connection. Yep. And so, so the only challenge we had was we had to add another HS5 switch. Yep. And so here's where we put the switch. Yep. Just adding to the network, guys. So we yep. just expanded the network. We haven't coiled the wires yet, but there it is. Yep. So we added a switch, we added a power wire, mm -hmm. we put a mount on the back, yep. and just like that, we got another display. We got the bait table big screen TV back there. Can't wait to fish that thing, Mike. Thanks for everything, yeah. and uh, I just can't wait to get put that thing to work. It's so nice, guys, but not only do we get the fish finder here, but we get the FLIR camera, we get the charts, we get the backup camera, the radar, everything's... Uh, you, you control a boat from yep. that unit with the autopilot, you can turn the stereo up and down. Yep. Full functionality, just unbelievable. For more information, jump on to raymarine.com.